In 2022, an economist estimated that Shohei Otani alone generated $337 million in revenue in a single year. Another report estimated that Otani made the Angels $70 million before he threw a single pitch. And that's just what he's worth off the field. Based on his on-field production over the last three seasons, Shohei Otani put up numbers that in today's baseball market are worth over $70 million a season. So with only a few months left before going to free agency, it was obvious why experts were predicting that Shohei Otani could sign the biggest free agent contract in sports history. Then tragedy struck. I think that might be it for Shohei. And Shohei will come out of the game. Only faces five hitters. And we learned Shohei Otani has a tear in his UCL. He's going to need Tommy John surgery. He's not going to pitch for another year. Who in the world is going to give him $500 million now? I mean, I wouldn't. Otani is set to get his second Tommy John surgery. He won't pitch again until 2025 at the earliest. There's real concern he'll never be able to sustain the workload of a two-way player again, and his mind-boggling $700 million contract is in serious danger. But what if I told you he's actually worth more than that? He's done it again! Show him! I want to be no contract. $600 million contract. Uh, $650 million to $700 million. Where would you draw the line on a contract for Shohei Otani? That's infinity. Even with an injury as serious as this, the question isn't whether or not Shohei is going to get offered the biggest baseball contract ever. It's whether or not he's going to accept it. Because believe it or not, this isn't the first time Otani has cost himself hundreds of millions of dollars. And the first time he did it, it was actually on purpose. By 2017, Otani had already won MVP, Pitcher of the Year, a championship, and basically every single award possible in Japan. He wanted to come to America, but under international signing rules, players under 25 are only eligible to make a league minimum salary with a maximum signing bonus of $2.3 million. Otani was required to wait two more years to be able to get what he was worth, which at the time was estimated to be around $200 million. However, money seems like the last thing Otani cares about. He was MVP of the league and still voluntarily stayed in the team dormitories, which are usually only occupied by mostly rookies. In Japan, he gave complete control of his finances to his parents, who gave him a $1,000 a month allowance to live off of, even though he'd only end up spending around $200 of it each month all while making $2.4 million a year. If Otani would have just waited until he was 25 to come to America, he would have made $200 million. Instead, he signed with the Angels to make $4.2 million over four years. Otani cared so little about money, he gave up $200 million just to play in MLB two seasons sooner. And for the Angels, this might go down as one of the most financially beneficial moves in MLB history. In his rookie year, the Angels saw an 11% increase in attendance on days he pitched at home. With an average ticket price around $30, this comes out to 120 grand every game, meaning the Angels made enough money to pay Otani's entire salary in five games just on tickets. If you account for what the average fan spends in food, drinks, and parking, the Angels made four times his salary in his first five home games. This doesn't even count games he hid in, ticket sales in spring training, the Japanese ads in the stadium, or the merchandise money he made from having the eighth most popular jersey in the league. In reality, the Angels made back Otani's entire salary before he stepped foot on the field. This was only a fraction of what they would make three years later. But for the time being, this was short-lived. Otani part of tonight's game due to blister. After only a few months of playing in MLB, Otani seemed like he was breaking down. Shohei Otani will undergo Tommy John surgery. When Otani got his first Tommy John surgery, he continued to hit and played amazing, but faced even more injuries. Time for the Angels to step in and make a decision for him. It's too hard to be the best hitter and pitcher at the highest level. He returned to the mound in 2020 and pitched less than two innings before he got hurt again. Tommy John surgery, check. Knee surgery, check. Now an arm strain, check. 
He's screwed. Otani was only pitching once every six days, did not hit and pitch in the same game, rested the day before and the day after each start and was still breaking down. But when he returned in 2021, he took the opposite approach. He hit and pitched on the same day, played in virtually every single game, which gave him the opportunity to create more value than any other player in MLB history. And that is exactly what he did. Since 2021, he's put up offensive numbers on par with Bryce Harper. That alone would earn him a contract worth $330 million, while also putting up pitching numbers on par with Garrett Cole, who made $324 million. So based on his on-the-field performance alone, he's earned a contract worth $654 million, which would not only be the biggest contract ever, but would blow Mike Trout's record out of the water by an insane $227 million. Believe it or not, based on the current market, he's worth a lot more than that. The more a team wins, the more money they make, which is what makes a stat like war useful. The more wins above replacement a player has, the more value they bring, and the more money a team is willing to pay them. In 2022, teams were willing to pay players $8.5 million per one wins above replacement. Since 2021, Otani has the most war in baseball, and it's not even close, averaging 8.8 .8 wins above replacement per season. Meaning, in today's baseball market, that's worth $74.8 million a year. That's not only the highest salary in baseball history, it's nearly double the highest salary in baseball history. But $74.8 million is such a mind-boggling number, would any team actually be willing to pay this? The answer is yes, and for most teams, it would have been the most profitable decision possible. Based on research from 2009, when a team makes the playoffs, they earn an extra 30 to $50 million in revenue. 14 years later, MLB revenue has doubled, meaning today, making the playoffs likely brings a team closer to 60 to $100 million in revenue. Based on war, Otani added 8.8 .8 wins compared to a replacement level player, meaning there are seven teams who missed the playoffs last season that would have made the playoffs if only they had Shohei Otani. For those seven teams, the playoff revenue alone would have justified giving Otani over 70 million. But even for teams who don't come close to the playoffs, paying this ridiculous amount of money would have also been worth it. Just ask the Angels. When Otani returned as a two-way player, they did seven Otani-related promotions in one season. Giving out Otani merch literally created lines outside the stadium. These promotions attracted an extra 11,000 fans per game and another $2.3 million in revenue for the Angels. Games he pitched at home brought an average of 3,800 extra fans. This is another $6 million to the Angels. And that's just when he pitches. In total, a Japanese economist says Otani alone attracted over 600,000 fans to watch him play in 2022, generating $45 million in just ticket sales. If half of these games were at home, it's safe to assume the Angels made at least $20 million from ticket sales without even factoring in food and parking. Otani also had the highest selling jersey and generated $7 million in revenue just for merchandise. But the real money comes from Japan, where every single Angels game was televised just to see him. One of these broadcasts would literally just film Otani 24-7 even if he wasn't in the game. And without exaggeration, this doubled the Angels audience. When Otani competed in the Home Run Derby in 2021, three times more people watched in Japan than in the US. Otani's opening day start in 2023 got 6.2 million live viewers in Japan, while the highest rated opening day game on ESPN this year got around 2 million. From what I can tell, while Otani was on the team, more people watched the Angels games in Japan than watched in America. Which is why when you watch Angels games, you're gonna see just as many Japanese ads as American ads. The first person to sell advertisements behind home plate says he sold them for $60,000 each per half inning. Assuming you sold out every half inning of every home game, that's $87 million a year. And this was in 1990. Today, teams are making a lot more than that. And since Shohei doubles the Angels' viewership, the Angels can essentially charge double what they would have been able to without him. 
This difference is so significant that even when Otani plays away games, visiting teams sell ads to Japanese companies to take advantage of this bump, even if it's just for a few games. All in all, the overall revenue Otani attracts is mind-blowing. An estimate in The Athletic says he made the Angels more than $70 million before he threw a single pitch, and this only accounts for corporate sponsorships, stadium signage, and merchandise. It doesn't even cover ticket sales or on-the-field performance. And the craziest part is, Otani was only the third highest paid player on the team. When the Angels got Otani, they had to pay the Nippon Ham Fighters a 20 million posting fee. Meaning, over his first five seasons, the Angels paid Shohei Otani's former team more money then they paid Shohei Otani. Even after winning MVP and becoming the biggest star in the sport, in 2023, there were 15 players in MLB who got a bigger salary than Shohei Otani. Yet, he was still the highest paid player by far. Because when it comes to endorsements, Otani's on another level. He made an estimated $40 million in endorsements last year. The second most was Aaron Judge. He made $4.5 million. Otani is worth so much off the field, his endorsements alone would have made him the third highest paid player in baseball. To understand how influential Otani is, just look at his deal with Kose, a Japanese cosmetics company. Since Otani began endorsing their sunscreen and beauty serum, their male customer base has become 13 times higher. And the sales of their serum are seven times higher now than they were before they signed Otani. But as powerful and expensive of a brand Otani has become before 2023, this one moment in March raised him to another level. Otani was the main attraction in what might have been the most watched baseball team of all time. They reached over 50 million viewers in each game they played, getting up to 61 million in their last pool play game, which was watched by more people than the most watched World Series game of all time. Otani striking out Mike Trout to win the title is the most iconic moment of his career, and the social impact Otani and this team had in Japan is hard to grasp. According to an economist, Team Japan's run, which only lasted three weeks, generated an insane $480 million in Japan. The Economist described this as, quote, the Otani effect. He won pool play MVP, MVP of the entire tournament, and gained a mind-blowing 2 million Instagram followers in one month. Otani, already by far the biggest star in baseball, star power may have multiplied during this tournament. It was estimated that Otani alone had an economic impact of $337 million in a single year in 2022. But in 2023, this number was set to shoot up even further. Then he got hurt. The economic impact was immediate. Otani wasn't even playing and was still the main attraction. On the day it was announced he wouldn't play for the rest of the year, fans came to the game and swarmed the dugout just to watch him sit on the bench. The Japanese broadcast company NHK stopped their broadcasting deal that allowed them to show Angels games immediately. And without Shohei, Angels highlight videos dropped nearly 400% in views. Attendance fell over 12%, which is about 4,200 less people a game. The Angels will be missing out on tens of millions of dollars without Shohei next year, but somebody will have them. They will pray he stays healthy, and if he does, he will bring value on the field and value off the field that is worth more money given to any baseball player in history. And if he wants it, that's exactly what he's going to get.